Welcome to another video of Tally Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn different financial reports available in Tally. So, move to Tally software. Open Tally. We are going to open the same company that we are discussed in the previous examples. So, select company. All the journal entries are passed in the previous example, the previous video. So we are going to display the financial reports one by one. In the gate of tally, you can see some important financial reports here. The first one is PNL account. This is a PNL account. So you can select the PNL account here, just press enter key. So you can see the PNL account here. Before see the detailed PNL account, first step is that you need to change the period or you need to change the from and to date for display the PNL account. For that, you need to press F2. F2 is the common key for using change the period of reports. So press F2 from 1-4-2019 then till the end of that financial year that is 31 March 2020. So you need to change this period before you see the PNL account. So enter key. Now we can see a consolidated PNL account or abridged PNL account here. If you want to see the detailed PNL account, you need to apply a shortcut that is Alt F1. Alt F1. See the detailed PNL account. So Alt F1 is a common key for almost all reports in Tally for see the detailed reports. You don't forget that Alt F1. So here you can see the different items in PNL account from the last example. Purchase, then automatically purchase return is reduced from the purchase. Here you can see the sales. The sales return is reduced. Here you can see the direct expenses. Here you can see indirect expenses. Here the direct income and net loss. So this is the total amount. So this way you can see the PNL account. So just escape. Press escape and you can move to the previous menu. The next is balance sheet. This is a very important financial statement in an organization. So take that item, balance sheet. Before seeing the detailed balance sheet, you need to change the date. So press F2, 1 for 2019 to 31st March 2020. Then for seeing the detailed balance sheet, Press the same function key, Alt F1. So this is the detailed balance sheet. The balance sheet is tallied now. You can see the same amount on both sides. You can see the capital, then minus drawings. We have a drawings there. So drawings is deducted from the capital. This is the fixed asset. And this is a different current assets. Closing stock is not there. So this is a transfer of PNL account. This is a profit transfer, profit or loss transfer from the PNL account. Then Sunday creditors. So this is a detailed PNL account. So if you press Alt F1 once again, you see automatically tally see the abridged report. So if you want to see again, press Alt F1. Alt F1, Alt F1. You see this way you can toggle that key for see the detailed report and condensed report. So press escape to move to gate of tally. Next, we are going to see the trial balance, another very important financial report. So for that, we need to select another sub menu that is display menu from the report sub menu of gate of tally. Here you can see the display menu. You can see different types of financial reports here. So the first item is trial balance. So select that trial balance. You can see the trial balance here. This is a condensed trial balance. So if you want to see it, you need to change the date. Press F2, 1-4-2019 to 31st March 2020. Then press Alt F1, the same key. So this is a detailed trial balance. You can see the main headings, capital, current liability, fixed assets, current assets, sales account, purchase account, direct expense, indirect income, indirect expense like that. So here you can see the total amount. So this way you can see the trial balance. So if you want to see the contents trial balance, just press again Alt F1 like this. So escape and move to display menu. 
another very important accounting statements are purchase and sales ledger that is very important in concern to a business so we are going to see the sales ledger and purchase ledger okay for that we need to select the account books then select the sales register just select that you can see the monthly sales register here in the april because we are only handling the transactions of the month of april so if you already recorded the transactions different months you can see the different months transaction the same time you can see the graph the graphical display of the sales in the bottom side so select that april so this is a sales register so we have already conducted five sales so if you want to see the details of sales just press alt f1 you see this is cash sales this is credit sales cash sales credit sales then cash sales this is the number of voucher you can see here this is the amount debit amount like that so this is a sales register so press escape the next is the purchase register so select the purchase register press enter key the same way you can see the graph in the bottom side and the top side the monthly purchase amount select that april month so this is a three purchases conducted in the organization during the month of april so press alt f1 you can see the detailed purchase register so this way you can see the purchase and the sales register just press escape and move to display menu another very important register is cash and bank register so that is laid in the account books so select the cash and bank accounts select that we can see the cash in hand and bank balance so select the cash in hand select that item you can see the cash total 4,49,250 if you want to see the detail select that item then we can see the monthly cash balances so here we are going to select the month of april select that so this is the cash register so this is the different transactions of cash so this is called the cash register very important register in an organization so press escape to move to the previous menu so bank book is also from this menu you can select that cash o bank book select so this is a bank account balance so press that item then this is a total the sum of the bank balance if you want to see the details press select that then april month this is a different bank transactions during the month of april cash insurance premium machinery drawings is there interest on deposit electricity charges crl company limited so this way you can see the bank balance so cash account and bank account so press escape to move to previous menu next if you want to see the ledger separately that is the ledger accounts select the ledger menu then select it then you can see any ledger that you are created suppose uh, just take the purchase ledger take that three transactions you can see in the purchase ledger then back then next if you want to see the city bank account then select that you can see the transactions under city bank account so this way you can see the transactions in any of the ledgers that you are already created and pass the transactions so press escape to move to the previous menu next the very important finance statement is receipt and payment account this is very important to see the receipt and payment account we need to move to the previous menu so press escape here you can see the receipt and payment account the display menu from the gateway of tally we select display under display menu you can see the receipt and payment account so select that you can see the receipt and payment account before that we need to change the from and the to date so press f2 14 2019 to 31st march sorry march 2020 then press alt f1 you can see the total receipt and total payments this side display the total receipt and this side displays the total payments so different payment items you can see here here you can see the different receipt items this way you can display the receipt and payment account so move to the display menu the next important statement is receivables and payables that's outstanding statements 
For that, you need to select the statement of accounts, select that item, then select outstandings. Here we can say payables and receivables. This is very important statement in concern to an organization. So select receivables. You can see only one receivable that is George account. If you want to see the details, press Alt F1, you can see the details. That is sales conducted on 22nd April. So press escape to move to previous. The next is payables. So just click the payables. You can see two payables are there. MTL Company Limited and MTL Company Limited. Both are MTL. So press Alt F1, you can see the purchase. The next one is payment. So these are the payables. So press escape. Next, we can list all the accounts that we are created under this company. For that, we can select this item that is a list of accounts under display menu. Then select that. You can see all the accounts that we are created in this company. You can see here. You can see the summary, 28 groups and 27 ledgers. Here you can see the consolidated report. Okay, then back to main menu. Next, we are going to see the income and expenditure account. Entirely provide a feature for enabling income and expenditure account instead of PNL account. So for that, we need to disable the PNL account and enable the income and expenditure account. Okay, for that, we need to press F11. That is the features you can see here, F11. Click that menu, click the features button or just press function key. Here you can see three features that is accounting features, inventory features and statutory features. From that you select accounting features. Select that item. Here you can see different settings. Just move to the third item under general that is use income and expense account instead of PNL account. Okay, that is no. That is we can see the PNL account now. We are going to change that no to yes. That means we need to display income and expenditure account instead of PNL account. Okay. If you want to see the income and expenditure account, set it to yes. Then leave remaining items as it is. Then move back. Then back to gate of tally. You can see in that same place, you can see income and expenditure account. Get it? So press that item. We can see income and expenditure account instead of PNL account. So change the date. Then press Alt F1 for detailed income and expenditure account. This is a detailed income and expenditure account. Here you can see the expenditure and this is the income. You can instead of profit or loss, here you can see excess of expenditure over income. You see? So this way you can display the income and expenditure account. There is no separate item for displaying income and expenditure account in tally. So we need to change the settings. We need to reset it to PNL account for that. Move to gate of tally. Then press F11. Select accounting features. Third item, set it no. Now it is shifted to PNL account. Leave all other items as it is. Press escape to gate of tally. Now you can see the PNL account. See, so these are the different types of financial statements you can see in PNL account. These are all very important. So I hope you enjoy this video. So see you next video. Thank you.